know. It's, it's, knows, I'm telling you, that it's, it's, we're everywhere. These manifesting generators are approximately a third of the Earth's population. About 33% of the world's population. So this is looking specifically at many gens, not at all generators. I like to separate them out because they're actually quite, but they have the strange, same strategy as generators. They have to wait to respond, but they have manifestor qualities. So depending on the situation, it's a good idea for them to also inform. And themes are the same as a generator, satisfaction, frustration. Do you have anything to add to that before we move on? Well, yeah, I mean, the generator and manifesting generator have identical strategies. It's the same thing. A generator is a generator is a generator. The, you know, the things that, that stand out, there's lots of differences. I won't start them now because I think you're going to get into them and start yes. going into them. But this whole satisfaction thing, same exact thing. We're, we're just, frust look at frustration like a blunt object. Frustration is like trying to, all the other ones are more like a scalpel. They're angry at something. They're bitter at something, you know, disappointed or, or, or successful at something. Um, generators, it's more like a sledgehammer trying to hit a fly. It's a blunt tool, for, it's the wrong tool, you know, for the job. And frustration is just ubiquitous. Frustrated at what? Can't tell. All of it. Sometimes it's at something, there's no question, but mm. it, it's everything frustrated because then it follows what the aura does. Every other aura sort of has a crisp um, direction to it, one's focused. One is repelling. Ours is just open enveloping. So it goes, it sloshes around everywhere. And that frustration does the same thing. Oh, that so, is such a genius way of looking at it. It's just, it doesn't discern. There's no discernment. That's well, what they're, it they're, is. Well, because we are in cooperation with the conscious mind, it, the, the mind will make discernments and measurements, but the frustration is just ubiquitous until it starts to narrow down to something. And then sometimes the frustration will be gone because you narrowed it down and did discern. But a lot of times it's hard. You just got to wait, wait for it. It's the waiting. You wait to respond. And it's extra hard for a manifesting generator because they're, they think they're manifestors. They've been raised under all that manifestor conditioning. Mm, and, and it's no good for us if we think we manifesting generators grow up thinking we can do and we don't think we can do we know that there's all this we, we have to wait we all sort of know it but and then we force ourselves to try and do and every once in a while it works is the thing every once in a while it works you know it's not a 100 percent fail rate and every time it works it's sort of like the the drunken gambler that thinks it's going to work again and again and again reliably yeah. and it's it's not Ah, that's a good way to look at it. So, drunken gambler, yeah. Right. So the yeah. the name comes from having, like we said, qualities both of a generator and a manifestor. However, some people throw around that all oh, manifesting generators are like a hybrid of the two types, and that is not correct. Not correct. What it is, it's still a subtype of a generator yep. with traits of a manifester. So let me change that word trait. It's not so much traits. It's they have a manifesting component. But if it does mm. not first surrender to the inner Buddha that says, wait, my child, wait to respond to the life force that comes in on you, then go out and manifest. So in response, the generator becomes a manifester as long as they're responding along the way. It's like a rolling response. So at every turn, at every thing, if they try and force a thing, they'll step back into their manifestor conditioning and get it wrong. But if they're being their generative self, they're waiting moment to moment, even while they're manifesting for the new thing to keep the manifesting going because something might stop it. And if something stops it, they need to stop. Right. OK, so. You mentioned the frustration part already, but the other interesting nuance is because there's manifesting capabilities, anger from a manifester can also show up in a generator, manifesting generator. Yep, However, yep. it doesn't look the same. Do you want to explain what that is? Yep. You you explain your manifestor anger and I'll explain my manny gen so anger. Manifestor anger. <laughs> manifestor anger can it, i feel like it really depends on which manifester it is but it it doesn't go away it doesn't go away and it toils and bubbles and eats away at you and 
funny enough, um, manifestors are very prone to like ulcers and all sorts of, uh, what was the other thing that I was reading about other than ulcers, but ulcers was like one of them, like liver problems and things like that. Like the anger is like literally eating your body because it's in there so long. So if it's I too can much, yeah. yeah, and I can relate to it for sure. Like my so anger, might not be out, yeah, my anger is not outbursty anger. But it'll be like seething for years, <laughs> right. and it's not fun. But anyway, right, 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 and it robs you of your peace. And if you think about it, peace is just like, hey, there's nothing else in my way. There's nothing else in my way. Whereas we manifesting generators don't mind. I guess if there's something in our way, we're busy. We'll, go, you know, that's not the biggest concern. Is there's something in our way? Um, also, the, the manifesting generator, our anger, when it shows up, it is like that of a manifester other than it flashes. There is no slow boil to it. it it's sort of just because it's try, it's frustrated trying to generate and because of that manifesting component, it, it can burst right out of the throat. And But then it, the, the thing is, it goes away at about the speed at which it came. It, mm -hmm. it, it's hard for a manifesting generator to like, stay they don't stay mad that kind of, as soon as they see that it becomes an un discomfort with the amount of power that we just released and we didn't realize we were releasing that energy or we didn't want to and it just sort of escapes us and we blow up and throw the thing out the window or smash the thing or yell at the person whatever it is yeah and um i i did it uh i did it today yeah a stupid little gate was in my way i had things in my hands it was impede it was resisting me i couldn't get it open with my knee it started to fall on the floor it made me spill oh. something i put stuff down i smashed it Dude! <laughs> I just, and, and but it came and it went it comes and it goes is the thing mm -hmm. and the older you get as a manager and the more you realize it, it just it, it it only destroys things see a manifester mm -hmm. anger i notice doesn't always destroy things it pushes things out of the way. Or it eats you up inside. <laughs> right. That's well, it, it, it's pushing your true self out of the way. One or the other, it's, 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 her, it, it's, it doesn't just destroy, you know, like quick mm. snap, flash fire destruction. Um, mm. but the, and I noticed my manifesting generator anger at times will simply destroy the thing, especially packaging. I'm in a hurry. I'm moving along and the packaging won't open. And the next thing I know, I, I just full force, I tear it open. And even if it goes all over the floor, I'm just, I just put whatever's left in the bowl and put some milk in it and walk away, leave the whole mess. And, and then I have, and then I'm stupidly looking at it an hour later when I do have to clean it up. But this frustration that shows up quickly and it, it's it like can, a, it's like a lightning flash. It's like there, a flash, one minute flash and it's flood. Gone. Yeah. And it can just and, and it wants to destroy the thing, whatever it is. Kick mm, it. Flash destroy. flood. Yeah. Yep. Flash flood. That's, it, that's doesn't, an it doesn't stick around. Analogy. We we can't navigate with it. We mm. cannot navigate with it. You guys can. All we can do is see red and go blind from it. <laughs> I mean, when I say yeah. all we can do, there's ver there's versions of that, but but basically speaking, we don't navigate from that. Um, no, like you navigate from nature, the frustration. From the frustration and the responsive nature. The anger is just the loss of control of the navigation is what uh, it really is. It's like when you accidentally let go of your wheel and you start spinning out. Right, 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 exactly, exactly. Oh, and that's so interesting because no other, I mean, again, it's a subtype, has that kind of thing where it, it experiences almost two sets of signatures right oh well, well no it'll only ever experience the set of the signature that is satisfaction it's deeply right, profound right, right. the satisfaction it not does self. experience two sets Correction. of not selves absolutely and, and i'm not, not i'm not completely certain that that's natural I, I i i'm i've always toiled between this part of me is is pretty sure also that it's it's the conditioning in a different world, a different time, we'd still have the same frustration, but maybe not that type, that way of, of the anger in that way, because it is so temporary, essentially, and it is, um, it's no, it's, it's, it's totally chaotic. It, it doesn't nav, it doesn't steer us like anger can steer uh, an aware manifester can be steered by their anger. I am pissed. I am moving this way. And because they can do, they go that way. Good decision. Mm -hmm. Brought them peace. I go that way, and that's a response to my anger, not the right decision. 
because mm -hmm. it's a response that's not it's, it's not an organic response it was in, in the first uh we were kind of talking a lot in depth about the not self themes right so mm -hmm. some of the situations where uh managing might feel this is when resistance pops up like you said something is in my way and if it continues to stay in your way it will be frustration and then anger. another interesting nuance is so many gens are are really here to skip around and take those shortcuts but in a world where you are rewarded and praised for you know zipping ahead taking your time and really mastering it they might feel imposter syndrome it's like i got this done in half the time uh you know did i work hard enough and they might feel all sorts of strange feelings yes, when they compare yes. themselves that's such a good little nuance of a point gosh Molina, thank you for spotting that absolutely we can wonder oh my god i i, I don't know if i have the depth because i saw i know i skipped ahead and by the way there's no it's not a shortcut it's not my, when I remember when I was first using that term, it never seemed to feel right because we don't think we're shortcutting anything. We don't care. We're slipping ahead because mm -hmm. the generative motor has a manifesting component that's really fast. And it's like, I don't like this chapter in the book. When I read the book, I didn't go from front to back. I'm like, I don't like this moment in the book. I moved, I just skipped forward. I kept mm -hmm. doing it. And we do it with everything. When I learned how to write mortgages for my mortgage company, when I, learn this, learn that. It's always sort of, there's a lot of skipping around because it's like the squirrel thing. You know, squirrels go here and they go there. It's like, what? There's a, if you watch the squirrels, I mean, they run right under the freaking tire of the moving car. It's like, yo, yo, buddy. That's, that's, that's sort of what's going on inside the manifesting generator often. That squirrel effect, you know, go here, dart there, get them an open route. Totally go here, dart there, dart. So that's, that's definitely a thing, you know, that, that that we do so it's it's just skipping ahead we don't think it's a fully a shortcut we're very excited mm -hmm. if skipping ahead got us where we needed to be and then we can tell the other look what we did it appears look to be a shortcut mm -hmm. but the thing is the other as the generator we need our brother and sister pure generators because they're like dude you skip these steps and this is what we missed we went level by level and at mm -hmm. the end of six months i noticed we're both equally proficient in this thing Except you had a little more stress because you skipped ahead and had to then bounce back and pick up the things you didn't quite understand so that you could write the reports right at the end. But mm -hmm. you also skipped ahead and made the first sale and brought in the first bit of revenue, maybe, or so, you know, stuff like that. How, I'm using a sales shop as an example. Yeah, sure. Something like that. Um, so that's just that we we need each other <clears throat> because one fills in the blanks and then and then again the manifesting generators are skipping ahead and very often finding that critical thing that gives the pure generator it's like dude look what's over here and now the pure generator in their step by step is like incorporating that they can see what's coming it helps them know more it's so a great each, team it's a wicked it's a perfect team as long as each teammate can can surrender to their nature because mm -hmm. the manifesting generators will have that imposter syndrome the pure generators it won't be the imposter syndrome as much as it'll be like how come they're moving so fast and they'll want to do the same thing sometimes or be mad uh, that, they, that they can't or won't it's like mm -hmm. dude don't be mad that you can't and don't but be happy this is who you are mm -hmm. follow follow your strategy and authority because if you start asking the pure generator questions you want to skip ahead you know they'll get disorganized their questions will have delayed answers because their mind will start trying to think yes i do but their generative responses are like not necessarily uh, you know <laughs> right makes sense uh so some uh we already kind of talked about the aura so it is still a generator subtype so it is going to bring things in like a magnet that mm -hmm. still applies there's no difference and you went straight into the strategy so you know, the um, nuance to it uh, is it is depending on the idea, maybe if it's like a decision that involves other people, um, it doesn't hurt to inform as it a just, manifesto. No, it, it, it truly just, doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to inform. It's not asking for permission. You're just letting them know, say, hey, I'm going to do this thing. Um, the thing is, our informing, you're <laughs> informing as a manifester, you might inform the day before. Because you can do so you can know what you're going to do. 
Mm -hmm. I can't do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to wait until the world gives me stimuli to respond to something, a noise, a creak, a, a, a new thought through my head, a person calling me on the phone, an incident, something takes place, and then I'm responding to it. And so, so that's interesting. The nuance in the informing is yeah, I'm so informing, the informing is I'm I doing know. this. It's like, dude, 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 I'm doing this. I got to mm. go. I, I'm doing the thing. So the informing is right while you're doing the doing, sometimes it's beforehand. Don't get me wrong. I can't never be in advance. You might totally right. know, but, but then it does not require to inform. If it's a day in advance, it's like, it's not that big a deal for you guys. It is because mm -hmm. as soon as you do, you got that aura that's impacting us and it's already closed. And so we don't know what it's doing. And so it seems a little bit like, what are they doing? What are they doing? I'm open. <laughs> that I'm an open book in this way. It's not so much. What are they doing? It might be rolling their eyes. What's he doing now? You know, I mean, <laughs> which is different from being concerned really about what you're doing. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, and then, you know, taking, like you mentioned, the, the, the key difference is, Managers are honestly here to take lots of quick action and let go of the things that are no longer working. And that's actually correct for you. You don't yeah. like, you know, keep bashing your head against the thing. Like maybe pure generators can keep doing that and eventually figure out what will work. But you're here to be like, okay, if this is not working, I'm going to just go try something else. And that's okay. I will uh, close out this strategy. So pay close attention to your authority for when the timing of something is right, right? Like you're still a generator at the end of the day, even if it's a different subtype, you're still waiting to respond. So you might not know when that thing's going to happen that's going to activate you to go do the thing. And your, your authority is going to let you know. And manifesting generators also come in two types like generators, which is emotional, which means you have to wait out your wave. And then the other type is your sacral, which means you'll get that response immediately. When they're an emotional manifesting generator, the trick for them is they're still, here's what happens when you mix the emotional solar plex with the generative sacral box, um, the sacral motor. The sacral motor is still a giving them moment to moment truth of their type. It's still the same strategy, identical. They must surrender. But the emotional wave will collect those responses over time and create a much more in-depth picture with it in order to come to clarity about the larger the decision, the more they need to do that, you know, to, to come to. So it's like an MRI image. They take many, many snapshots and which in a generator's case is many, many different responsive moments to, to, uh, to, to start to, to start to get clarity on where are they truly satisfied because they'll start putting together a frustrating moment and then a satisfied moment and then a frustrated and, and it'll come up with a clearer picture of I'm doing this and I'm not doing that or something of that nature. Ah, amazing. Yeah. So some yeah. of the obstacles uh, that MGs have to overcome is, you know, you still have to wait to respond. <laughs> No, you, yeah. have to, you have to deal with patience, but it's a different type of patience because many just also want to move fast. They want to go fast. They want to try a lot of different things. And it can be incredibly annoying to be waiting to respond if you're like, oh, but I'm so excited. And I want to like just, you know, what's interesting is um, I'm looking more into the variables and you and I have the same right facing arrow so yeah when you said that you daydream i'm like oh that's so correct for your variables yeah There's it really is as soon as you have any right facing arrows especially the um personality or the design arrow which are the top two arrows left and right if you have a right facing personality arrow you're you're not you're here to sort of check out you're here to check in and check out and check in and check out. You're not so focused and, and um, strategic about all the things. So daydreaming is actually really helpful. Daydreaming yeah. is just imagining, just imagining the next thing. I'm just imagining something caught in a moment of reverence or reverie, imagining the next thing. Right, yeah. To total sidetrack. That's a future episode way down the line, variables, but a <laughs> little tidbit. <laughs> Love it. Wondering a uh, sneak peek. Um, And then... This is a fun one. This kind of reminds me of manifestors, honestly. Uh, not wanting to get help. It's like, no, 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 I'll do it myself. I will do it myself. 
and trying to do it all in your head and like map it out be like yeah yeah i can pull this off but uh again you're even if you're a sacral it doesn't mean you are capable of doing it all yourself no uh, mostly not no you're always going to be bumping into something else to have something new to respond to see every voice you hear is a responsive moment every word they say while you're listening are responsive moments there's no shortage of stuff there's no shortage of things for a generator or a manifesting generator a generator to respond to there's no shortage mm -hmm. of stuff for the sacral to respond to mm -hmm. and you know almost ever really um and so they don't have to wait long um, yes because sure. the thing is the generator is very much the tennis player hitting the ball hitting the ball hitting expending the energy so there are things that that manny gen will be um called into will be hitting the ball hitting the ball hitting the ball in which especially if they have collective definition on the logical circuitry you know they're going to identify with repeating something so sometimes it mm -hmm. is but, but really any other rule of thumb other than starting to tune into what are you deeply satisfied with and mm -hmm. satisfied means you can keep doing it it's ah. like and you, and you don't stop you just keep doing it and and really for for the true essence of what of that of that energy coming pouring off of our chemistry don't forget our chemistry does this stuff so it's real work being done mm -hmm. and and the real identifier you have to go back and witness children because they show you the exact archetype of what that looks like and then you have to dust off your dusty old ass adult self and get that conditioning out of the way for a minute and look at what was true what mm -hmm. was true is you know you remember the axiom or the maxims of law the kid is always right mm -hmm. the kid is always right the kid inside of you is 100 percent every single last time it is correct with what to do with your energy no matter what mm -hmm. the type yeah makes sense um and one of the other things uh mgs get into uh very similar again to a manifester is they'll get into a flow state where everything is just clicking and then if someone knocks on your door and throws you off it can easily arouse that anger just like it's the worst thing ever we don't even want they knock on the door you know we're stuck being polite because we're responding to the stupid stuff they're saying it's not their fault it's not even stupid it's just gotten our way yeah and suddenly we're stuck being nice and da 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 da. So all of a sudden our, our aura has enveloped them and has pulled them in in one way, shape, or form. Even they if take they're you off generator. task. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then it, all they have to do is start talking, and then each new syllable and sound is like a response for the generator. Uh, well, I don't know. Well, you know, and and all we're trying to do is get to the point. Hey, I'm in the middle of something. Can I hit you back later? You know. Yeah. And that's it's good for generators and manifesting generators to to train their the people there with that to train it's good for all people really to train everyone around them sometimes i want permission to just be rude um like, <laughs> like, or inform that hey i'm gonna go do this thing maybe don't disturb me until i'm ready to come out yeah you know that works for you guys that doesn't work so easily for us generators <laughs> because our because our aura is enveloping them mm. You're informing just informs them of what they're already feeling. Mm -hmm. It's just putting it in the well, words so that their consciousness yeah. can can dial back and not be you know put off as much because it's so powerful. Your resistance mm -hmm. and your closeness to them when mm -hmm. you need. But us, we're enveloping them. So they're you're you're basically bringing in the interruptions. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why it's so hard to peel away. We really got to peel away. <laughs> It's like, ah, oh, this is so annoying. I don't want the interruptions, but my aura just keeps pulling them in. Right. Oh, it's just, quite it's just plain straight up annoying. Um, that and, and so it's we're still looking for that satisfaction to do the thing. It's needed. Yeah. Um, so the things MGs here are going to work on to master is like we keep hammering home again and again create a bunch of different things right and you get good at the things by skipping around we're gonna reword shortcuts to skipping around skipping around yes <laughs> right yep, um and around. you need a lot of space right you need a lot of space to do things simultaneously so that's that's kind of like a superpower of mgs right you, you can yep. work on more than one thing at the same time 
and, and get lost went, in it all and get and get lost and make plenty of mistakes doing that is a thing but yes mm -hmm. absolutely sometimes in a flow state two or three things are happening so i'm sort of seemingly to be simultaneous right don't stay um, there manny gents don't stay there that's manifest or propaganda that you're supposed to live in that flow state <laughs> and it's natural it's not if you fall into it for a few minutes or an hour once in a while fine run with it but as it fades let it fade that's not normal mm -hmm. it's not natural to stay in that flow state maybe for, for manifestors mm -hmm. yeah manifestors maybe not even them i don't know that any of us are because it's well just you'll well manifestors go into like i know i i haven't because probably i have too many things going on but i felt like manic flow states where yeah I'm obsessed with this one thing and I can't let go until I have finished or, you know, mastered it until you've investigated initiated it, it, whatever. Yep. Like it's, it's yep. then I can be like, okay, I'm exhausted and I'm just going to veg out for like the next couple of days um, kind of thing. But yeah, th that flow state at, in a manifesto form is like just obsessing over the thing. And it's like, you might be trying to relax and you can't because that thing is still in the back of your head. So you're like, let me right. just like go back into that thing <laughs> until it stops right. begging me. I don't right. know if MG does that kind of thing. Do they? <laughs> well, um, I mean, the obsession comes with the amount of mastery, the amount of mastery that we're getting on something. If we're getting good at it, it's because the generative box released its energy. The generative sacral motor said released it. The chemistry was sent to it to release its energy. And its energy can now move things and do work and read and listen and sit still and listen, whatever that energy is needed to do. And it, as soon as the satisfaction gets deep enough, the fr the, the obsession shows up as it's mm -hmm. supposed to. Okay. Why wouldn't we be obsessed with being satisfied? Mm -hmm. I can ride a hundred miles on my bicycle. I can da 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 da. I'll lift the thing. I'll do the work because I'm deeply satisfied with something, mm -hmm. you know, or, 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 or what have you. Yeah. Excellent. So, you know, th that goes right into the next point of like the there's so much lovely sacral energy if you're again doing the things that you love and it is a great idea to take all that energy and put it across many different things. Hobbies, exercise, things that bring you satisfaction. Uh, you know, don't just work 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 work. It's not a good idea for anyone, but especially singles. <laughs> Well, it's a good idea to have your life set up so, such that you can hop into another thing mm -hmm. and it doesn't and it doesn't matter. You haven't missed a quota or a boss or lost mm -hmm. your way or whatever, or made your partner mad at you or whatever, that you can simply stop one thing and go into another. Because mm -hmm. just like the kid, remember, I, I might have told you this, this, this analogy. So the kid is building something and then they stop and they go start doing something else. You know, yeah. building a stick, and, and a parent comes along and says, why did you quit? And the proper response for the generator, for actually all the types, but the proper response for the generators, I didn't quit. I stopped two mm. different things. Quitting was your expectation. I would keep going. I'm a responder. I have no expectations. I wait to respond. We're not allowed to expect. And, 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 and we do. No one is allowed to expect stuff. You don't know what's going to happen the next minute. But our strategy tells us specifically we're not allowed to ex ex really expect stuff. We have to wait to respond. We can set it up and expect that the sun will rise tomorrow. Fair. Okay. It's going to rise every day. So it seems we can expect that. I guess There's, it's not a hard and fast rule. It's into the nuance. I'm expecting right. this little twist and turn of a fate here because I did this over there. Maybe, maybe not. You know, mm -hmm. we don't know you're expecting of it is taking you away from your nature mm -hmm. um and then it goes into your role uh which i feel like we've hammered this whole you know bunch of different times but you know you're super unique and really creative and you finished projects with efficiency so i like to think of the three little pigs and the many gens are the ones that built the house with the sticks they is like i needed a shelter i got them real quick the generator was the one who made the brick house <laughs> right oh yeah yeah it's quite fun. unless unless the um generators were there first or or there as part of the whole thing and started doing the level by level and then the manifesting generators filled in all these little spots and made it go fast 
but mm. otherwise you know that's what be them working together right otherwise you're right i could see the manifesting generator just throwing the f up and and building a shelter that can't withstand huff and puff and blow uh, this house I know. down it's not like they know that the wolf's coming it's like i need shelter i need it now right, <laughs> just right, what is the most right. efficient fastest thing and you know if it's, it's keeping about the fastest out, thing yeah it's it's our role in life is to keep that energy rolling so that um so that the world keeps moving moving mm -hmm. along it's our job to keep pushing things along it's your job to make an impact on almost what gets pushed along ah. it's the projector's uh projector's job to start to recognize that was a good thing that got pushed along oh i noticed the satisfaction of all these generators is happy doing it it's so mm -hmm. let's direct them towards all of that let's mm -hmm. identify that and recognize it and then say it and or, mm -hmm. or amplify it or whatever Right, right. So we, we've drilled this fact home, but I guess we'll drill it again. Uh, core energetics is same as a pure generator. It's, you know, you're just a subtype. So you still have the sacral, but here's where it gets nuanced. Your sacral has the uh, intelligence to be efficient. So you don't have to keep pouring in endless amounts of energy into one thing. You can pick and choose the things that light you up as an MG. And you initiate something quickly, but only after you responded to a thing, right? Right. And, and so you can almost retool that statement, the things mm -hmm. that are going to light you up, pick and choose you. Oh. Because you don't, because it's not your choice at first. I mean, certain things are your choice because you could have an imagination about something and suddenly realize you have to go buy a thing. Okay. Then that might light you up at the moment. But, but you don't know because that was your imagination. And then you go buy the thing and the instructions are frustrating. <laughs> you can't set it up maybe or something. Who knows? Mm. But, but it's so, a little bit of both. Right. And this is this is an interesting tidbit I picked up somewhere. So, Danny, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, generators are always told, pure generators, to go to bed when they're absolutely wiped out. But and MGs shouldn't necessarily operate from that condition yes and we should really and maybe totally. go to bed before you're completely wiped out go we go to bed when you're tired and you're bringing yourself to bed to fall asleep because you're now you're mo it's we're all we're generators of generators a generator we're slave okay. to that motor and that motor only wears itself out according to our strategy and authority and mm -hmm. how much we tortured it by not listening to it you know um one way or another it's gonna wear itself out that's when you can fall asleep that's why generators and many gens have such a hard time falling asleep sometimes ah because i think it, maybe this this tidbit came up from somewhere where they were looking at the manifesting component of a generator yeah, quite or it's like yeah it's like no like you know give yourself a little bit of wind down time and maybe don't go completely zonked but that might You're be good advice to any old person, generally speaking. It's just that mm -hmm. the generator's not going to start that wind down time until they're already wound up, until it's over, until the motor is <laughs> run out. <laughs> It's, it's it's already time. Just, it's already it's, time. So I'll pretend I, I'm <laughs> pretend I'm winding down. 